couple months back, I did a video uh, called In Exchange for an Honest Review, which broke the internet. I got over 120 views on it. And in that video, I said I would follow up when I actually wrote the review, which I forgot to do um, in a timely manner. So I thought I'd do it today because I don't have much uh, else to talk about. I mean, I have a lot of things I could talk about, but haven't done that much reading. Uh, one of the things uh, that's been stopping me lately and doing more videos is I've been traveling at a bit more of a faster pace than when I started this channel, where I was living in one place for three months, around three months in different parts of Albania. But now I'm moving basically like month to month, so it takes me a while to get like up to speed on my new location, then I gotta research where I'm going next and that kind of stuff. You know, just horrible problems that I have to suffer through being a world traveler and retired and enjoying my life. So it doesn't give me as much time to read as I had before, or as much time to think about reading because I'm thinking about other stuff. So it's 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 an adjustment process. I'm gonna be slowing down a bit next year again for at least six months i'm going back to albania for at least six months in january in one spot and um hopefully establish more of a regular routine so uh that's all off topic but anyway if you don't remember the video when i was uh, kvetching about having to write this review for for a free arc for a free advanced reader copy that i got uh, you know, I'll put it in the link and you could watch that. Otherwise, there probably won't be much interesting going on in this video for you. But if you're curious, I'll post a link to the review. I just thought it was kind of an interesting story how, how it ended up. I'm not going to link to the guy's book here because it's not really doing that well anyway. So there's really no, no reason to, to point it out. But I will say it, you know, here it's a book called The Shithead by um, Tim Grawl, who's a writing teacher kind of guy, guru kind of guy, has a channel. Um, his book was kind of promoted as, boy, wait, wait, wait till you read this book and you're going to really know that my teaching method, is, how, how amazing it is. You know, he works with uh, uh, a famous editor. They, uh, they have the Story Grid books and publisher and all that anyway i didn't really care for the book i'll put a link to it there's a link on i did the video i did the review for goodreads and i'll tell you why and this is another thing that's been stopping me from doing a lot of videos because i have a lot of thoughts about amazon not negative mostly not negative but uh, just a lot of things ha happened with amazon all at once and i thought well how do i put all this in one video and I wanted to talk about this review, and I wanted to talk about my my account being locked at, for a while, which I'll talk about later, and I want to talk about my new reading um, apps and, and things like that, my new reading device. And here I've started to do it already and try and put it all in one video. I'm not going to do that. So back to the review. Uh, I didn't care for the book. That's You can watch that other video I, I talked about vaguely. I didn't care for it. I did say I would write a review. My main issue at that time was that I, and I'm not blaming the writer for this, he's just trying to promote his book, and I, I'm, it was a lesson for me not to agree to do anything for free, or just to read, just for a free copy. So I was kind of res resentful and kind of had a moral quandary about you know, I don't really like to just go around trashing stuff. I didn't really have hardly anything much to say about the book, good, uh, except that it was well paced. And like I said, I'll put I'll put a link in the comments. But anyway, so I, I put myself all through these all these moral, uh, you know, really ultimately matters to no one but me. All these uh, these. these uh, this uh, hand wringing and everything about what I should do because I, I do like to keep my promises and I don't like to trash people needlessly. So I would have had to either avoid one or the other of those things. So I did write the review, which is what he wanted. And I know intellectually, I think I said this in the other video, that even a bad review helps the algorithm 
on Amazon. So he wanted an Amazon review. I posted my review. I wrote my review, which is really kind of long and rambling. And uh, tried consciously to not be mean or snarky. But it's probably a little snarky. Um, and I posted it on Amazon. And it immediately comes back rejected. And because it's Amazon, and you know if you've ever had to deal with Amazon, and they do something like this, the last thing they would ever do is tell you how you can fix it. They send you a link to all their terms of service, and uh, they say, you know, your review does not meet our guidelines. Please, please uh, read, you know, these 40,000 words of uh, vaguely worded terms of service and then figure it out on your own about why we rejected the review and then write it again. So I looked at it, I can, I kind of guessed at a couple things. I took a wild guess and said, uh, near the bottom of the article, there was a sentence in there where I said, um, Amazon has miscategorized this book as, as men's adventure. And it's really not a men's adventure novel. It's really not gonna help out the book to be trying passed off as an adventure novel. It's more like a, more like a fictionalized self-help or inspirational book of some kind. I, you know, I mean, I guess if you consider uh, the, the Alchemist an adventure novel, maybe it's like that. Maybe I, I wouldn't. But anyway, uh, so I took that reference to Amazon miscategorizing the book out because I figure, you know, if there's anything that Amazon's upset about, it's probably that because they don't, uh, like to be blamed for anything. So I took that sentence out and I reposted the, the review, which is what it told me to do. And they said, thank you for posting the review. It will be up soon. And I waited and I waited and I waited and a week went by and 10 days went by and I posted it again and, and another two weeks went by and they never posted it. Now around somewhere in this time period, I got a reminder or, from the author or the author's team you know it's time to time to renew the book but don't feel bad if but if you're if you're if your review does not go through on amazon just post it on goodreads because amazon often rejects reviews and no one knows why so uh, so eventually after a month or so went by i posted on goodreads which is not to be mean about it but it's pretty much by the time I posted the review, this book has already been forgotten. There's 175 reviews or something on Amazon. There's 130 something on Goodreads. They're all from the first couple of days. They're all from that big publicity push of sending out the arcs and they're all rave reviews. They're like 90% rave reviews um, by people who are quite often referencing things not in the book. They're referencing what a great teacher the guy is or what a great guy he is or how much they've learned from the program or that kind of stuff. It's kind of cult-like. Um, and then it, there's another strange category of reviews that are four-star reviews uh, by people who do not like the book but just feel they want to give it a good review. There's a couple of strange four-star reviews from people who say, look, I really love this book so much. Please don't be put up by the four-star review. I just don't like to give five-star reviews. So that's the other thing I always complain about is people like the, you know, their, their, um, their intense personal aversion to ever saying anything's uh, five-star review serving. Then there's a few that are like three, like mine. I gave it two stars. I think there's only like one one-star review by someone who didn't finish it. So I don't, I don't really care for that either. People one-starring a book that they couldn't finish because maybe it turned out great in the end. And actually the final third was probably the best part of the book because the pace picks up. But I'll post it in there. Uh, I don't know if my review will make any sense because I didn't want to be writing it, so I didn't do a very good job, but it's pretty long. Um, I'm glad that episode of my life is over. Uh, what else was I going to say about it? It's interesting phenomenon. You know, people are like so desperate to... to you know, that's a big conundrum for indie writers. He's, in, I guess, you, he's 
he's definitely an indie writer, but he's not a solo indie writer as he as he works with a publishing company and he has editors that work for that company and they sell they sell classes and things like that. Um, I really thought the opposite. I thought after reading this book, I thought, well, I wouldn't really, you know, and I'd read a lot of their writing books before and, and I'm thinking it's really not a good path to go down in terms of their material just because I didn't like the results. But, you know, on a scene to scene level, which is something that Tim Grawls, the Story Grid Universe, Story Grid Publishing, trains people on the the scenes were put together well i'll just say that and i'll leave all the negative stuff for the review uh you know it brings up some issues with me like when you're when you're pushing books when you're pushing your your independent books to a market of other writers It seems like it's going to have very limited appeal, you know, because there's people like, like for example, the, the name of the book was The Shithead, uh, which is fine with me. It doesn't bother me. It's kind of a trendy thing in publishing to to use a swear word like it, like uh, everything is bullshit or bullshit jobs or what's the other one uh, that Mark Manson wrote, and, you know, that kind of thing in to get attention. So I know he's trying to get attention, but there's other people who are like just offended by the language. Which is, I, I don't, you know, understand why they were writing reviews of it, why they read it, if they were offended by the language, because they knew, even from the promotional material, that that's what the book was going to be, so. So, uh, if a book's not for you, I know I'm going over stuff I've gone over, over and over again on this channel, but if, you know, I don't really, because I'm not a professional book reviewer, I don't aspire to be one. So it seems kind of cheap to go after books that aren't written for me specifically. Uh, I'm probably just rehashing stuff I've complained about a million times before. But anyway, I wanted to do a video for people who are curious if they even remember. There might be, you know, up to, to up many as six or seven people who are interested in what happened with this review. But uh, the upshot, you know, the summary is I, I got the book. I agreed to review it. I didn't like it. I ended up writing a negative review, but I think a fair review. And I gave it two stars. And I tried to post it on Amazon as I was requested. And Amazon wouldn't accept it for whatever reason. So I posted it on Goodreads, which was really irritating me because I hate Goodreads. I hate going there. I had to go back to my account. I had to go back and log into my account. It's really my review, because I went back and checked it the other day, is really... About the only review, since I waited so long to see if Amazon would show up, my review is like the only one from October. All the other reviews are from the first week in September, you know, which is which is the marketing idea. It's like get all those reviews out right and you can really write up the ranks. But this book never broke 100,000 on the um, on the bestseller rank. It really just didn't take off. I, I guess it's just not resonating with people and... Maybe it'll find its audience someday, but uh, if you want to know more about the book specifically, you can read my review, and I'll, I'll post a link to that. And I'll also uh, probably, at the end of this video, um, there'll be a, a link to my previous video about this subject. Okay, that's it for today. Probably that's it for a while, and I'll be moving to another place in a few days, so we'll see what happens then. Take care.